Uh, my name is Dejan Milojčić. I am Editor-in-Chief of IEEE Computing Now uh, and also on the editorial board of IEEE Internet Computing. It is my pleasure to introduce to you today uh, Ignacio Llorente and Ruben Montero, uh, who are the PI and the Chief Architect of the Open Nebula Open Source Project. They're also professors at uh, Complutense University Madrid. Uh, I have heard quite a bit from a number of customers and other people about the uh, Open Nebula uh, and its uh, race with eucalyptus and, and, other, uh, <laughs> and, and, and other achievements and accomplishments they have uh, had with Open Nebula. So I'm really delighted to have the opportunity to talk to them today. Uh, can you tell us a little bit uh, more about Open Nebula, how it started, what was the motivation, and where you're going with it? Okay, yeah, uh, Open Nebula is a um, research project that we started five years ago. Uh, it started as a, a management tool for the orchestration of and configuration of virtual machines in the data center. And uh, the main aim of the project was to address uh, challenges from uh, business and use cases in real world conditions. So it's a technology that we started driven mostly by innovation, aimed at providing the most innovative features for the management of virtual machines. And then with cloud computing, we built uh, the cloud computing interfaces for this management tool to build private clouds. So when you think about it, what were some key technical choices that you have made that made OpenAbula successful? Uh, <clears throat> I think that the, the, the key um, aspect here is its uh, modular and uh, architecture. It uh, allowed us to use uh, multiple, for example, storage backends from LBM, iSCSI, and uh, to different hypervisors at the same time, like VMware, KBMs, and um, also having a robust and thin core, which is C++, and combined with a, a, a scripting uh, driver plugin backend, which allows people to modify components to build their own uh, clients for scheduling or PM placement, for example, I think that was the, 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 the key uh, uh, feature for, for the success of the project. Thank you. And, and who are the top users of, of Open Nebula? Uh, most of our users are supercomputing centers uh, trying to explore new ways to provide access to their resources, hosting companies that are um, evaluating these uh, new uh, cloud uh, computing model, and uh, telcos, that they are also using Open Nebula in order to explore new business models. Can you tell us any examples, any names that, that, that have already publicly? Uh, yeah, supercomputing centers. Uh, I think the best example is uh, SARA supercomputing center in Amsterdam. They uh, announced uh, a couple of months ago their HPC cloud based on Open Nebula. So they offer to the users a way to execute on the managed computing mm -hmm. cluster. Uh, regarding um, uh, hosting companies, there are several hosting companies that are now trying to explore this. In this case, I mean, we cannot provide any yeah. uh, mm -hmm. concrete sample because it's confidential. And regarding telcos, I mean, I think the best example is uh, Telefonica. I mean, they are now uh, using Open Nebula. Telefonica was a partner uh, of us in many uh, European projects, and now they are uh, using uh, Open Nebula, evaluating Open Nebula to provide new cloud computing services. Okay. Yeah. What are the types of, of services? Can you tell me some examples of applications and services they're running? Are those traditional supercomputing ones or the smaller scale? Or yeah. Well, uh, um, we really try to, to think of, uh, of the service that can be deployed or, or open enabled as a black box. So you, we, we, we mainly support anything you can put in VM. So we have uh, very good examples, for example, from, from CERN. They're using uh, virtualization and open nebula to, for the, their batch processing services like LSF, for example. And then they, they've done a, quite a, a nice job you know, virtualizing like uh, uh, 16,000 of, of PMs for, for batch processing. But as Ignacio said, for example, in the, in the field of telcos, they're using open nebula to virtualize uh, web servers, to virtualize uh, um, mailing systems, for example, databases, that kind of things. So uh, I would say that mm, the open nebula um, and virtualization itself, they are not restricted to an application domain. Mm -hmm. Who do you consider your competition and how you differentiate from them? Mm -hmm. 
Well, um, from the perspective of functionality, our competitors are all, all the existing cloud management tools. Mm -hmm. But from the perspective of the uh, target user community, I think that we mostly compete with other open source technologies for cloud computing. Mm -hmm. uh, we think that we have four main differentiating factors. The first one is the, the, the functionality that we provide for cloud computing management. We provide unique features that have been developed in the context of uh, international uh, projects. For example, our approach for hybrid cloud computing. Uh, we also have a differentiation if we see, for example, that we are a fully open source technology, so we don't follow an open core model. Uh, we also have a differentiation in what we see our capabilities for integration. This is very interesting because we think that cloud is an evolution of the data center. So from the beginning, one main design principle was to build something flexible and open. So any uh, data center could use their system uh, services to build the cloud. And uh, finally, I think that other important issue is the performance and the scalability. Because from the beginning, we tried to address uh, business use cases in production environments Scalability was a very important requirement. For example, uh, as Ruben said, I mean, uh, CERN is using uh, Open Nebula to support the execution of tens of thousands of virtual machines. And that was very important. And we see that um, most of the users that are they planning now very large scale uh, infrastructure. For them, scalability is the most important issue. Is that the largest uh, instance running Open Nebula, tens of thousands? Or where do it's you the largest that uh, no. we, can, uh, <laughs> yeah, we can disclose. Yeah. 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 You know, uh, we have, you know, uh, we have uh, users in research, um, or should be computing centers, we have users in industry. Mm -hmm. Users in um, research and computing centers, they are very happy to disclose information about the internal details of the cloud. But on the other hand, we have many users in industry, but they don't let us even to say that they are using the technology, so yeah, yeah. I, I do hear those. <laughs> <laughs> and and what, what what did you design for? What is the largest scale that you have designed Open Nebula for? Yeah, um, I think that uh, for 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 the beginning, we we have in mind that uh, if we we are going to target data centers, uh, mm -hmm. the the goal was to to deal with tens of thousands of PMs and and thousands of physical servers. Mm -hmm. So that's for, for the single instance. So and we will also envision a multi-tier architecture for, for, for the data center so mm -hmm. different multi-cluster uh, instances can cooperate to, together. Mm -hmm. Since you brought up future, what is the next on your roadmap? Oh, uh, I would say that we have just released the 2.0 version of OpenAI. Mm -hmm. That was a really important milestone for the project because all the components we want to see in OpenAI are, are now in place, like for example, authorization, user identity management, on um, image management. All of the components are, are, are in place. So I would say that, uh, mm, that the next steps will be integration and use case development. Um, we want to, to see more use cases uh, publicly public, uh, known by, by the by people we, uh, using Open Nebula, how can they use Open Nebula? And also, we want to improve some of the aspects we we already have, like uh, improve high availability, mm -hmm. or for example, graphical user interface, that kind of things. Mm -hmm. So, when you look back, what were the key enablers for the success of Open Nebula? Virtualization, maybe one. What are the other components that that made you successful? Uh, I think it was mostly virtualization because I think that to understand Open Nebula, uh, we should go uh, to you know five years ago, when uh, before cloud computing, uh, as you know, this tool for the orchestration of virtual machines. Um, when we started Open Nebula, for us, it was very important uh, the role of the administrator of the infrastructure. So for us, cloud computing or of this manager for virtual machines was a tool for the administrators of the infrastructure. Uh, so. In, when we started, for us, cloud computing was not only a way to provide a simple uh, API. It was a way to provide an efficient and scalable tool for the orchestration of the data center. The API is important, but for us, it's not the most important thing. In order to show that, we have implemented three different APIs. We have the OGF, SCI, we have the EC2 uh, query API, and we have the vCloud uh, API. And other APIs could be uh, implemented because, well, we have developed this uh, uh, API agnostic. I mean, mm -hmm. uh, this is very important. So we didn't try to develop an open source implementation of a given API. 
So since you're talking about implementation, is the fact that it's open source helpful to you? Do you have the community of developers who yeah. contribute pieces, bug fixes, and other? Yeah, c uh, community for, for us is quite important. It's probably with technologies the, the other uh, pillar for, for the open network project. Personally, for for Ignacio, for me, it's been uh, it's been really encouraging uh, uh, working with uh, people all around the world, uh, submitting feedback, uh, uh, giving their opinions to to, to us. So it was it, it's really um, uh, very stimulating working with the community. And for for the technology itself, it's quite quite important. Mm -hmm. I mean, people we, we we are very happy because the the open network community is quite active. They are saying uh, feedback through the mailing list. They say if, uh, Back fixing patches for for the source code, they, they send feature requests. Uh, uh, I would say that um, we are quite happy in that area, mm -hmm. and the community for us is uh, is very very important. Mm -hmm. So when you look back, would you do it differently if you were doing it today? Either approach or you know design or the order of things you've done or anything. Yeah. Well, I can ask that question in from the technical point of view. I, I say that. Uh, we do it just the same thing. As Ignacio said, uh, I think that the philosophy implemented by Open Nebula, um, meaning that giving a, a toolkit for, for administrators so they can replace uh, components, uh, tune components for the particular solutions for storage, for example, or for uh, user management, if they want to integrate with LDAP, that kind of things, I think that that's something we really did well. And, and I will uh, do it the same way. And uh, probably that there are minor things that we, we, we could do, for example, like uh, doing testing from the very, very first mm -hmm. time when, when you develop software. That's something that we incorporate later in the project, like Diego, and that costs a lot, a lot of effort. But technically, I think that overall, it, it was the decision were right. Mm -hmm. I know probably 